this cover using the same material if you wanted if you did that you just need an A4 piece um, of whatever you're going to use and you just cut two pieces which are 4x8 um, and I, I think an, eight, an A4 piece of vinyl is 8 inches by 12 I think something like that or half, 11 and a half something like that so um, you will need to use yourself some um, clear clear vinyl this I use is a table protector so it goes over tables to protect it from spillage etc um, I get it from um, in the UK I get it from Dunelm um, it's not very expensive it's about £3.49 something like that a metre so I buy a few metres at a time and when it only uses um, a very small amount uh, it's great so I am going to just use white um, thread because that's the thread that I've got in my machine now so the first step is to stitch out the placement onto the, the clear vinyl made it do the um, the outline stitch for the entire design and also the uh, ID pocket so that you can see where everything needs to go. The first part of the design that we do is going to be the ID pocket. I'm going to use the bubble fabric. Um, as my ID pocket so you put it over the entire design and make sure that you've got your overhang on the right hand side because the overhang is going to go underneath um, this bit <laughs> you'll see in a minute Now we need to cut out this panel here, which will reveal the underside of the um, clear vinyl. So very, very carefully. First of all, you need to use a craft knife to cut this um, between these two lines here. And this is where you slot your ID badge. So very carefully, be careful not to cut through your stitches. Okay. 
and then we need to cut out this now this is a little bit more tricky so first of all what I tend to do because my craft knife is very sharp I use a little slit and that gets me in and then I cut my badge out um, not the badge, the window, sorry reveals the um, the clear window. I'm just going to take a little bit more off of this bit here because it's a bit wonky. And that is that bit done. Now we'll take it back to the machine and stitched line here so when you lift your fabric up it will reveal the outline of the rest of the design so pull your vinyl back and you need to cut a little bit wider than your vinyl that you're using so just a little bit wider cut through like that okay and that will um, Allow me to do the next stage, which I will show you. Right now. So what you need to do is this piece of vinyl needs to be slid through the line that you've just cut. It's a little bit weird because I know that this is not what normal people do, but this is the way that I've designed it. So you can see the stitch line that's already been stitched and that it's going to go over that line one more time to hold this in place what I think I'll do is I'll put a little bit of tape on that just to stop that moving I don't usually do that but with the air of caution I will today for the sake of the video so I'm going to tape that on there just for now and I'm going to put a bit of tape on the other side as well just for the video just in case it decides to uh, start dragging I don't think it will but it sounds like it might actually right so it's going to go back over the stitch line that is just done that's the tricky part out of the way so now what we need is two pieces of this size here oh it's not big enough why is that big enough da -da -da -da. I think it was 3.9 so what I'm going to do this this back end needs to be nine inches not eight I've done eight inches so it's going to be nine inches so I will put this colour on the back and I'm going to put that colour on the front so let's get that piece right now I'm going to put this one on the back actually I'm going to put that one on the front because I like this one okay so the slit line that you've already got what you're going to do is you're going to slide this good side facing up and you're going to slide it right the way underneath the design like that 
and then you're going to get the backing piece good side facing down so when you turn it over it's going to be good side facing up hope I'm not confusing you I'm going to tape it I think make sure that that piece is over there which it is and that piece is over there which it also is now okay make sure that everything's in its right place oh it's that piece there right okay so I'm going to have to cut this piece off here and it's getting in the way sliding underneath the um, drum and just to stop it from um, sticking on my plate what I'm going to do is just going to rub my hands with some towel and just rub it over the back of this piece of vinyl here right, so let's do that again so this is my backing one is it right is that right I think so I think I said that that's going to be my backing one and that's going to be my front one slide it in like so so yeah so the vinyl is going to be sandwiched between the two pieces, the clear vinyl is going to be sandwiched between the two pieces, the top and the bottom. I've got white bobbin in and I've got white thread in the top. Right, everything should be okay now. Let's go for it. when you get to this part here it's at a different the um, the sensor is at a different height so I stop the machine and then start the machine and it adjusts the height Okay, so now we're going to go and cut it out. Okay, so now we're going to cut this design out. As you can see, it has a little pocket here. That's where your ID card's going to go in there. That's the back of the vinyl that you can see. And this is the back of the design. Um, you can see that we've got um, guidelines, guide puncher holes, uh, what are they called? can't even remember. And that is my tie off knot. So pop it out. Get a pair of scissors. And cut. Right, so on the design, you need to cut between these two stitched edges if you can see there you need to cut between them and it will give you a nice clean finish I didn't want to double up on the um, on the design I didn't want doubled lines so all you do is just cut it like that through 
halfway for the stitch lines. I don't like cutting around because then if you do that you run the risk of shaving them stitches with your scissors so I go back over them in a minute and again between the two lines and then I go back into them that way and that way like so so let's put that to one side so that's your ID um, holder I don't know where my ID's gone so I can't even show you I'll get it in a minute right so now we need to punch the holes out This is a revolving hole punch. There we go. So both holes are punched out. Um, I'm using a D lobster clasp. It's, it's the shape of a D. And that is going to thread through there like that. But first of all, I need to add my cam snaps. If you don't want to add cam snaps, that's absolutely fine. You could use a rivet. Um, rivets will look just as nice but when you fold this over it will show the backing on the front like so like that so I'm going to add these ones what have I got in there now I have this one so both of the caps will go on this side oh god I've just dropped it damn it uh. Mm -hmm. it's that one I need so that's going to go on like that and then that's going to push in so I'm going to put it in my machine now sometimes the caps um, stay in let's push that down that's one and then I need to change it over and put this one in And then add the cap again on the same side and then the other part which is the male part it's a sticky outfit pop that in there put that in there and squash it down turn it left-handed here like so and then I'm gonna put my cap my D clasp in there and pop them together